I'm Anita from Global Baby and today I'm going to be pointing out to you some of the differences between the Bugaboo Chameleon 3 and the new Bugaboo Fox. So 2018 at the start of the year Bugaboo released the Fox. So the Fox is going to replace the Buffalo. It's a little bit more off-road than the Chameleon is and the Kind of an easy way to see if a stroller is going to be suitable for off-road is by looking at especially the front wheels. So they are 8 inch. I don't know why we talk about wheels in inches, but they're 8 inch front wheels and the Chameleon has 5 inch front wheels. That just means when you go over bumpy ground, uh, the larger wheels will cope with it a bit better. The rear wheels are the same size, 12 inch. The weight of the stroller with the seat is 9.5 for the Chameleon and 9.9 .9 for the Fox. So, you know, same, same. The weight of the child that you can take in the stroller is 17.5 kg for the child plus 5 kg in the basket underneath for the Chameleon or 22 for the Buffalo plus 10. When you buy the stroller with the Chameleon, well this is a special edition, but with the regular Chameleon, uh, this part of the bassinet and the seat will be black and then you choose the colour, like your fabric set, hang on, I'll get one here. You'll choose the fabric set like that and this kind of means that you can customise the colour for your stroller. But with the Fox, everything's customisable right down to uh, the wheel caps. So um, you can choose the colour for your handle, you can choose the colour for this, you can choose the colour for this. So that's kind of a big difference too. And then another difference with the Fox is that you don't have to buy the fabric set for the bassinet. So that's up to you. If you feel like you're not going to use a bassinet, then you can save, you know, a couple hundred dollars by not buying it. Okay, let's take a look at the bassinets for a start, because that's what you're going to be using first with your baby, right? I think that the fox is a bit deeper and the fox is also a bit higher and so your baby's a little bit closer to you. The handlebar is adjustable in much the same way. You'll remove the carry pot from the stroller in the same way. I guess the fold is same, same, but different, you know? With the fox, when you unfold it, you've got these little bits here on the chassis, so you'll just turn it and then pull those pieces out. So that's a little bit of a difference. So the braking system is slightly different with the Chameleon, it's a handbrake here and switch it on by pulling it, pushing it forward and off by pressing that button there and for the Fox it's with the foot so it's a push to turn it on and then a push again to turn it off. Another similarity is that the frame of the carry cot is the frame of the seat. So one day you will just kind of decide, all right, I'm going to change, you know, my baby's around the six month mark, time to change from the carry cot to the seat and let's do that now. Here are the seat fabrics. So this is the chameleon seat fabric and this is the fox seat fabric and you just kind of slide it over the frame, easy as. I'm going to do that now. Snap the hood. When it's not attached to the frame. Slide that one out. And you just use the same hood.
Okay, so that is the seat put together. Pop it on the frame to do the canopy. And it kind of has a special spot on the frame where you click it in. And of course your bumper bar. Alright, two seats. Can do a little bit of a comparison there. Obviously the Fox is a bit higher. And um, more or less the same size otherwise I'd say. They both have that lovely extendable canopy. You can also fold the fox with the seat on, which you cannot do with the chameleon. And I will show you that now. You just want to lock the front wheels. Did I do that? Okay, and then just push it till they lock. And then put the brake on. The seat goes back. Handle goes in. Pull the trigger and there you go. Might be handy for if you're storing it in the garage, that sort of thing. And to undo it, you just turn these things, the dials, the whole thing up. Another thing that the fox can do that you can't do with the chameleon is you can fold the seat a little bit so it can take up a little bit less space when you're traveling and you'll just do that on the back here with these little things. It doesn't make a huge deal to be honest. Just makes it a little bit flatter though. Now another difference between the Fox and the Chameleon is that you've got the integrated points. So you won't need adapters when you attach the comfort wheel board or the coffee cup holder. So that's cool. And I will just show you with the capsule in here because we haven't done that yet. So you just get the adapters. You have to purchase these separately. And then this one is a Maxi Cozy Pebble Plus, but it will take any of the Maxi Cozies. And same thing with the Chameleon. Different adapters. That's the Maxi Cozy Cabrio fix, but just so you can get an idea. They always go in a little bit easier when you've got, you know, a 3kg baby kind of helping with the weight. So the chameleon is obviously a bit lower. Another difference that I didn't talk about earlier guys, sorry I forgot this, is the wheelbase. So what I mean by that is the distance between this wheel and this wheel. And can you see it there like that? The fox is a bit bigger. That means when you're turning around in little spaces like cafes and shops, that sort of thing, then the chameleon is going to be a little bit easier. And the chameleon also has that benefit of being able to switch over the handlebar. I kind of find that handy when I'm at a cafe table. So this is really a city stroller. So that's it, that's the Bugaboo Chameleon 3 versus the Bugaboo Fox. Look, they're both really cool strollers. I've owned a Chameleon myself in the past. Um, I wouldn't mind owning a Fox now um, or a Chameleon. They, I guess the main difference is the larger wheels on the Fox. So if you are going to be going off-road on the grass, if you live on a farm, if you're going to be walking on lots of cobblestones, you might want to look at the Fox. It's got all the benefits of an off-road stroller, I think, but it's compact and it is uh, really easy to push because it's so light. 
it's amazing um, kind of change from the buffalo, I think. And likewise, if you're in town, you're going to be walking on footpaths, around malls, around parks and paths and things, then maybe you want to look at the chameleon. Well, I hope you found that helpful. I'm really loving the new Bugaboo Fox, but the chameleon is a classic. Millions of them sold worldwide. Um, it's kind of up to you and your lifestyle, what is going to suit you and your family. If you want to come and try them out, come and see us at Global Baby or check out our website, globalbaby.co.nz. Thanks, bye.